Hello again and welcome once again to Invention Corner and today we're looking at some solutions for cheap lighting and especially cheap gel effect kind of nail gel colouring gel you'll see what I mean so this is basically okay, I'm an electrician and I was up at the wholesaler the other day and they sometimes have deals on well, they were selling these floodlights for a tenner each. They are 10 watts, which is hardly anything, but um, it's LED floodlights. Thin thing, only that thin. Um, I'll show you what it's like when you switch it on. This will be quite bright. And the old, uh, see it's quite a pale, a pale light. Um, I don't know if it's actually daylight or whatever. The beauty about these things is that's as hot as it gets because it's LED lighting. Problem with that is that it's quite it's almost like an outdoor lighting, so you need a kind of gel on it in order to make it more you know, like a warm kind of light. So in order to do this, in my case, I got some of this from Hobbycraft which is a basically a local um, craft shop um, it's just uh, cellophane I got, yeah, I didn't, this, is, this is not actually the proper colours you're supposed to use there's a different, there's a proper you'd probably be as well getting that proper hair look online and hair look and getting the proper gel colours and things because they're actually they're all numbered and that's and it's all specialised stuff but I just got a yellow one, I got a red one as well but red one's too deep red but, um, have a look and see what you get, I and mean, it kind of basically just to warm it up or cool it down. You can use a blue one to cool it down. Here, look online as well, and, I'll, and you'll see there's lots of videos on YouTube and stuff telling you about how to use the different colours and things like that. So, got my stuff, got this, which is strawberry squares, it doesn't have to be strawberry squares. I just got it, it was one I had, and it kind of fits quite well on top of that. A wee bit of movement, but um, it's got this handy square as well, which I shall cut out. But cell tape. Um, the stand itself, the S is on, is actually one of these stands that uh, you get for industrial lighting, temporary industrial lighting when you're working in places. And I think it was like 23 quid and you got the yellow stand plus two 500 watt tungsten halogen lights on top of it as well. The tungsten halogens are actually quite good. They're, they're um, uh, filament lights so that's a warmer light that start, but they get really really hot and you've got to watch yourself. I know that's for experience because I once set fire to my tools. It's a long story and I want to yeah, bore you with that but they get very hot very quickly and if they fall over the flames will start coming up. Right, so start cutting and we'll show you in a minute what happens next. So here's a piece of the cellophane that I have uh, cut into a square and basically we we'll put it on bits of sellotape. Onto your box. And so on, I ruin it. So you end up with this. Um, it's like a little TV screen, a little alien TV screen or something. Right, um, and that's, that's basically what you have to do. That's how simple it is. I mean, really, I'm making this video to show you how to do this, but to be right, you shouldn't even need to be shown how to do that. It's so simple. Pop it on, boom, there you go. And it's uh, a nice different kind of lighting. Choose whatever uh, gel you want to use, depending on what kind of atmosphere you want to create. And uh, there you go. Job is a good one, as they say. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on Invention Corner.